Most drivers believe all engine oil filters do the same job, until a $3 filter turns a $5,000 engine into scrap. Every year, around 40,000 engines fail because of hidden flaws in filters that should protect them, racking up repair bills as high as $12,000. The threat isn't obvious because even filters that look fine can let destructive particles slip through, grinding away at surfaces you'll never see. So which filters are quietly destroying engines, and which ones actually provide protection? The answer could save you thousands if you know what to look for. Every engine on the road depends on a thin film of oil to keep moving parts from grinding themselves to dust. That protection hinges on a single component, the oil filter. When that filter fails because of poor construction, worn out materials, or missing features, the result is not just a little extra wear. It is often a catastrophic breakdown that leaves a car stranded and an owner facing a repair bill that can wipe out a savings account. Industry studies and technical manuals agree, contaminated oil is one of the top reasons engines die before their time. Abrasive particles only a few microns wide, too small to see but big enough to scar bearings and camshafts, slip through when a filter is not up to the job. Over time, those particles chew through metal surfaces, clog oil passages, and trigger failures that no amount of fresh oil can undo. The economic fallout is staggering. Replacing or rebuilding a modern engine typically costs anywhere from $4,000 to more than $10,000, depending on the make and model. For trucks, sport utility vehicles, and performance cars, the price can climb even higher. While there is no public database counting every engine lost to a bad filter, the scale is clear. Across millions of vehicles, thousands, very likely tens of thousands, of engines are being worn out early every year because of inadequate filtration. Each failure means not just a blown engine, but weeks without a vehicle, rental costs, lost work, and a mountain of stress. All of it in many cases because of a part that costs less than a tank of gas. This is not just a problem for high mileage beaters or neglected cars. Even diligent owners who change their oil on schedule can get burned if the filter they install is poorly made or counterfeit. The difference between a filter that protects and one that destroys is not always obvious until it is too late. That is why understanding what separates a working filter from a dangerous one is not just technical trivia, it is essential wallet-saving knowledge for anyone who wants their engine to last. A single grain of dust can be enough to start the damage. Inside every engine, moving parts ride on a thin layer of oil that is only about 5 to 20 microns thick, less than a human hair. Any particle in that size range, from 4 microns up to 20 microns, is big enough to get trapped between metal surfaces and start grinding away at bearings, camshafts, and cylinder walls. That is why oil filters are designed to trap the most dangerous particles before they can do real harm. At the heart of every filter is the media, the material that actually catches debris. Most budget filters use cellulose, a dense paper made from wood pulp. It is cheap and does a decent job, but it can swell, break down, or tear under high heat and pressure. Synthetic media, found in higher-end filters, uses fine fibers that are more uniform and much stronger. These can trap smaller particles, sometimes as small as 4 microns, and hold more dirt before clogging. Some filters blend both materials, aiming for a middle ground between cost and performance. But the media is just one piece of the puzzle. Surrounding it are end caps, either metal, fiber, or sometimes plastic, that seal the edges. A center tube gives the filter its backbone, keeping the pleats from collapsing inward. There is an anti-drain back valve, usually a flexible rubber or silicone disc, that keeps oil from draining out of the filter and engine passages when the car is parked. Without it, the engine runs dry for a few seconds at every start. The B-I-Pass valve is another critical part. If the filter clogs or oil gets too thick on a cold morning, this valve opens to let oil bypass the media, so the engine is not starved of lubrication. When any of these parts fail, if the media tears, if the end caps separate, if the anti-drain back valve hardens, or the bypass sticks open, particles flow straight through, or the engine is left without oil pressure. What looks like a simple metal can is actually a carefully engineered system. Cut corners in any layer, and the risk of invisible, cumulative damage climbs with every mile. 
That is why the next time you pick up an oil filter, it is worth knowing exactly what is inside and what can go wrong if those parts are not up to the job. Every morning, before the engine even warms up, most of the damage that will ever happen inside it is already underway. Tribology studies and original equipment manufacturer test data agree. The majority, often between 60 and 80 percent, of total engine wear happens during cold starts and warm-up. The moment the key turns, thick oil struggles to reach every bearing and cam, and for those first seconds, metal surfaces scrape by on whatever film remains from the last drive. If the oil filter is not primed and ready, that thin layer vanishes even faster. A critical piece in this process is the anti-drainback valve. When it works, the filter stays full of oil between trips, so pressure builds instantly and lubricates moving parts right away. But in filters with weak, poorly seated or degraded valves, oil drains out overnight. The next time the engine fires up, the pump has to refill not just the galleries, but an empty filter can as well. That delay, sometimes just a few seconds, multiplies where exactly when the engine is most vulnerable. Another hidden risk comes from the filter media itself. Inside the can, the pleated material is meant to trap abrasive particles before they reach critical surfaces. But under cold, thick oil and high pressure, cheap filters can suffer pleat collapse or deformation. When those pleats fold or tear, oil cuts a shortcut through the gap, carrying grit straight to bearings and cam lobes. The damage is not always immediate. It accumulates quietly, every start, every trip, until the evidence shows up as low compression, noisy lifters, or a spun bearing. The numbers are stark. The oil film protecting most engine parts is just 5 to 20 microns thick. Particles larger than that, often 4 to 20 microns, are exactly the size that slip through when a filter fails. And it is during those first minutes after startup, before the system reaches full pressure and temperature, that those particles do their worst work. For engines that see lots of short trips or sit for days between drives, the risk climbs even higher. It is a daily hazard nearly every driver faces, but almost no one sees coming until it is too late. Ultra-cheap no-name oil filters sit at the bottom of the market, often priced at just a few dollars and found in discount bins or roadside stores. Their shells are thin, the filter media sparse and uneven, with pleats sometimes glued so poorly that gaps show before the filter ever sees oil. Bypass valves may be missing or replaced with weak springs that collapse under pressure. End caps are often fiberboard or flimsy plastic, sometimes cut so roughly that loose debris remains inside. Lab inspections have found metal shavings and paper fragments left behind from rushed assembly, a direct route for contamination. In one documented case, a filter's shell buckled, dumping oil and destroying an engine in seconds, leading to a full replacement and thousands in repairs. Counterfeit filters have become a growing hazard, especially as online sales surge. These fakes mimic the packaging and branding of trusted names like Mobile One or Motorcraft. But inside the differences are stark. Filter media with half the pleats, missing or non-functional anti-drain back valves, and bypass valves that are little more than stamped metal. U.S. Customs has seized shipments at major ports, tracing them to low-cost overseas factories. Paint and lock codes often match genuine products, making detection difficult until damage is done. Without proper internals, these filters fail to protect against cold starts or pressure spikes, exposing engines to rapid wear. Fram Extra Guard filters have sparked debate for their use of cardboard end caps. While millions have been sold, teardown videos and mechanic reports reveal recurring flaws. End caps separating from the filter media, rust inside new filters, and glue that fails under heat. Critics warn that cardboard can swell or degrade under stress, letting particles bypass the filtration media. Quality control inconsistencies raise doubts, especially for vehicles run hard or on long intervals. Supertech filters, sold at Walmart, highlight the risks of commodity sourcing. Construction varies by supplier and batch. Some units hold up, but others have weak anti-drain back valves, causing oil to drain out overnight and leading to dry starts. Quality is unpredictable, making these a gamble. Generic white box filters, sold under countless private labels, are built by the lowest bidder. Internals are inconsistent with missing or poorly seated valves and random media types. 
With no brand reputation at stake, these are among the riskiest choices. Purilator Classic filters, once a fixture in auto shops, became notorious for media tears under stress, especially when pushed past basic intervals or exposed to high heat and high revolutions per minute. Enthusiast forms filled with teardown photos showing pleats split near the seams, sometimes after just a few thousand miles. When the filter media fails, oil bypasses the filtration layer and carries abrasive debris straight to critical engine parts. Purilator eventually revised their lineup, but the classic's legacy remains a warning about stretching budget filters too far. Plastic oil filter housings, now standard on many European models, BMW, Mercedes, Audi, and Volkswagen, were designed for weight savings and easier recycling. But plastic ages poorly. After repeated heat cycles, housings become brittle and prone to cracking. Cross-threading or over-tightening during oil changes can split the cap or damage the O-ring groove leading to sudden leaks. Some models receive service bulletins and updated parts after high failure rates. In severe cases, a cracked housing can dump oil without warning, starving the engine of lubrication and causing catastrophic failure within minutes. Counterfeit Mobile One filters, nearly identical to genuine versions, hide their flaws inside. Open samples reveal filter media with roughly half the pleats, Missing wire backing and bypass valves made from stamped metal, metal instead of engineered springs. Anti-drain back valves often use cheap rubber that hardens quickly, failing to keep oil in the filter between starts. Even paint and lock codes mimic the real thing, making fakes hard to spot until the damage is done. Non-genuine motorcraft filters, especially those sold by third-party sellers, pose similar risks. Official motorcraft filters meet Ford's strict specifications, but off-brand versions may use thin cans, low-grade media, and poorly calibrated bypass valves. Without traceable sourcing, warranty coverage disappears if a failure occurs, leaving owners to cover costly repairs. Older dried-out filters, sometimes left on engines for years or stored in damp garages, bring their own hazards. Gaskets harden, anti-drainback valves stiffen, and filter media weakens with age. These filters are much more likely to leak or collapse, especially during cold starts or pressure spikes. Extended life filters promising 15,000 or even 30,000 miles can backfire. Oil analysis often shows rising wear metals as intervals stretch. Filters with limited dirt holding capacity clog or run in bypass mode, sending unfiltered oil through the engine and risking accelerated wear. A late-model Chevrolet Silverado rolled into a small-town engine shop, its owner already bracing for bad news. The truck had started knocking on the highway, oil pressure dropped without warning, and by the time it coasted to a stop, the damage was done. The filter on the engine was a no-name spin-on, picked up at a truck stop for just $3. The owner remembered the price because it seemed like a steal at the time. But inside the shop, the mechanic's inspection told a different story. When the filter was cut open, the pleated media was torn and collapsed, glue had let go near the end caps, and gritty residue coated the inside of the can. The anti-drainback valve was barely seated, thin and already stiff from heat. On the bench, the engine showed the aftermath. Main bearings were scored, and copper shone through the worn surfaces. Cam lobes were pitted, and the oil pan held slivers of metal and dark sludge. The mechanic traced the path, with the filter media failed, debris had circulated freely, grinding away at every moving part. The oil pump had tried to keep up, but the damage was already spreading with each turn of the crank. The repair estimate landed at just over $9,000. That covered a replacement long block, new gaskets, fluids, and nearly 40 hours of labor. The owner's insurance did not cover mechanical breakdown, and the filter's packaging listed no brand, no warranty, and no way to trace the manufacturer. The only thing left was a receipt for a $3 part and a truck out of commission for weeks. The shop kept the failed filter as a warning for other customers, a reminder that the smallest, cheapest part on an engine can be the one that takes it down. For anyone tempted to save a few bucks on an oil filter, the Silverado story is a hard lesson in risk, a gamble that can end with a repair bill bigger than most people's savings.
Not all oil filters are a roll of the dice. There are a handful of designs that stand out for their engineering, consistency, and proven track record in both lab and real-world use. Fifth on the list is WBUX. This filter is a favorite among professional mechanics for a reason. The canister is thick and resists deformation, the end caps are stamped from metal, not cardboard or plastic, and the filter media is a synthetic blend offering both high dirt holding capacity and fine particle capture. Wix also calibrates their bypass and anti-drain back valves to match original equipment specifications, limiting the risk of dry starts or pressure spikes. Fourth is Bosch Premium. Bosch uses synthetic reinforced filter media that maintains its structure under heat and pressure, trapping up to 99% of particles as small as 20 microns. The anti-drain back valve is silicone, not nitrile, which means it stays flexible for years even after repeated hot-cold cycles. Bosch filters are known for consistent internal construction and solid bypass valve calibration, making them a reliable choice for extended intervals when paired with high-quality oil. Third place goes to K&N. These filters are built for both performance and practicality. The steel can is extra thick for high burst strength, and the signature welded nut on top makes removal easy, especially in tight engine bays. The filter media is a synthetic blend offering high flow and strong filtration, while the internal components are heavy duty enough for track use or aggressive driving. For those who value both durability and ease of service, K&N delivers. Second is genuine motorcraft filters purchased directly from a Ford dealership. These filters are designed to Ford's own specifications. They use robust metal end caps, quality filter media, and bypass valves tuned for each engine family. Using a genuine motorcraft filter not only ensures proper fit and function, but also protects warranty coverage on Ford vehicles. At the top is Mobile One Extended Performance. This filter uses advanced synthetic media engineered to capture 99% of particles larger than 25 microns, with a dirt holding capacity that supports even the longest oil change intervals. The anti-drain back valve is high temperature silicone, and the canister is built to withstand extreme pressure surges. Mobile One's consistent lab performance and real-world reliability make it a top pick for anyone serious about engine longevity. Each of these filters stands out for a specific reason. Whether it is construction quality, filtration efficiency, or proven durability under tough conditions. Choosing any one of them is a step toward protecting an engine from the kinds of failures that cheaper filters so often invite. Right now, a $15 decision stands between a healthy engine and a four-figure disaster. As automakers push longer service intervals and counterfeit parts flood online stores, choosing a proven oil filter is no longer optional. It is essential. The next time you reach for a filter, remember, real protection starts with what you can't see. Drop your experiences or questions in the comments below.